about two weeks ago, I bought a bottle of hydrogen peroxide at the local drugstore and decided to try doing something with it. Well, what can you do with a bottle of peroxide? Now this is inexpensive stuff, commonly available. I put some into a small bottle with an eyedropper and decided to hold my head sideways and squirt the eyedropper into each nostril. Then I would usually sneeze and I could blow the rest out. After I did that, I stopped snoring at night. It really seemed to help clear out my sinuses. I also followed some suggestions, took about 10 drops or 8 drops and put it in a glass of water. And it really seemed to help reduce indigestion and gas. Why? Let me give you some thoughts I've had about why it helped me. For starters, We live on an earth in which oxygen is plentiful, and of course without that oxygen we none of us could survive because we breathe it. I'm going to guess that it is very rare to have a planet in this universe that provides such oxygen. The oxygen is produced by the trees, the grass, the, the growing plants around us. They breathe in, breathe in CO2. Now if we look out at the universe, carbon is everywhere. And oxygen is almost as plentiful. However, oxygen by itself is much too reactive. So, it will not last very long by itself. It will combine into something else. And in particular, one really common thing would probably be for it to create carbon dioxide. So my guess is there's a lot of carbon dioxide in the universe. So there are probably lots of places with lots of carbon dioxide. Well, does that mean there's vegetation everywhere? Well, veg veg vegetation requires more than just carbon dioxide. It requires moderate temperatures that never get too hot and don't get too cold either for very long. In fact, you don't see much vegetation in Antarctica that's cold. And much of the universe is that cold most of the time. So, suppose you have moderate temperatures. Do you have water? If you live on the planet Jupiter, sure, there's plenty of water. But the temperatures are extremely cold by our standards, and vegetation could never survive. And as a result, there's essentially no free oxygen to breathe. And that is pretty common, really. If you have a planet that's much smaller than Jupiter, is it so small that whatever atmosphere it had has all evaporated and floated away into space? Our planet is large enough, 
so that the water and the atmosphere is pretty much retained. It's a compromise that is in fact pretty tight. So we live in a unique planet. And my guess is that if we look back far enough in time, we will find going way back vegetation and various species that breathed carbon dioxide for a long time. Perhaps the earliest form of life would be something like viruses that breathed carbon dioxide. <coughs> now, what happens if one exposes such <coughs> a life form to a lot of oxygen? That's what hydrogen peroxide produces. It breaks down into water plus oxygen. <coughs> well, oxygen for such a life form is a waste product. Not only is it a waste product, it's intensely corrosive. The life form has to get rid of it, and fast. Do you know how the body destroys such viruses? it injects hydrogen peroxide into, directly into it. If there's a cell, it does it directly into the nucleus of the cell. And the, as I understand it, the medical profession calls this the oxygen burst. And the immune system of our bodies depends on it to work. It destroys essentially all of them. All of what? It destroys anything that is a life form that, that, that breathes CO2 and produces oxygen. Are there any viruses and such that don't breathe CO2, that breathe oxygen? I ask the question of my body intuitively. And I got back an interesting answer. Yes, there are. There are a very few, a very small number of them. One of them is measles. And in fact, a number of the childhood diseases that essentially don't kill anybody, but the measles, for example, is a virus that I have in my body now. I'm 71 years old. I'm glad it's there. I find that it can talk to me. There are things that it does, and when I'm, are, when they are helpful for me, and it, it literally works with me in ways most viruses cannot. And in fact, hydrogen peroxide leaves it feeling good. So there are a very few little organisms that we might call parasites that in fact with us breathe oxygen and that makes them different. And I find that they cooperate with me much better than the more ancient ones. So if I want to get rid of the ancient ones, I will use this hydrogen peroxide. And my experience is it helps with my health. I'd suggest you try it. Thanks.